The Artemis 1 mission is coming to an end after nearly a month in space. This mission is meant to pave the way for future astronaut missions. No one was on board this debut flight, which made a trip around the moon. The point of this mission, to study how the Orion spacecraft performs thousands of miles beyond. And the ultimate goal is to establish a long-term presence on the moon for scientific discovery and economic development. This is a new system. We haven't flown a system like this since Apollo, really, that's capable of reaching the moon. So it's a brand new rocket, a new crew capsule that we're testing, and we needed to make sure that the entire system works before we put people aboard. And Connecticut has a reason to celebrate this groundbreaking mission as 44 companies in our state are supplying NASA with products for the Artemis expedition. So those companies all contributed to this mission over the last many years that it's been in development. Uh, and those companies, right, they're supplied by the, the engineers and the workforce here in Connecticut. Uh, here at the University of Hartford, you know, we've got the only aerospace engineering program in the state. NASA hopes to send astronauts to the moon in 2025, including the first woman and the first person of color. And ultimately, NASA hopes to establish a base on the moon and send astronauts to Mars by the late 2030s or early 2040s. Reporting in the studio, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.